What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Super Mario 3D World Guide video. In today's video, we're going to be conquering World 1-5 Switch Scramble Circus. Now, if you have played this level before, you will know that this level is a headache to do in multiplayer. It's just a ton of fun, but also, again, a headache to complete. Now, these little puzzles that you see here with the question mark blocks on the floor, what you have to do is just touch them. You don't have to ground pound them. One tap or one walk on them will be fine, and you turn them yellow, and it will turn green after you turn all of them yellow, and you will get yourself the gate open. There isn't any hidden power-ups here, right? I don't think so. I do know there's like this hidden block on this side. As well on this side but again no hitting blocks or hitting power ups in the front so let's continue on don't want to waste time there is a lot of stuff to do in this level you get a power up right here i'm gonna let that run i'm not gonna need that this one again multiplayer wise it is a pain to do because it's like steps and basically everybody got to touch the same step at the same time in order to kind of complete it correctly and but with one player single player you should be able to do this no problem again just follow the stairs all the way up and you get this door open top here the bees are gonna come and you can just jump and i stand in one place that's all and then you get to here what it seems like the correct thing to do is just to stand on this middle platform and jump up however as you can see there's other platforms on the side you jump on the side and you're able to climb up and get a green star up here now do note you can get up here without the cat suit you can just bounce off the walls right here just like that very easy to get that green star right there but very missable because if you just jump up in that square it will teleport you here and there's no way actually to go back okay this one another maze looking one if you have a fire fire flower you would be good here because you could just destroy the enemies and then basically do the puzzle as slow or as fast as you like without actually hitting any enemies oh, i touched the one right there and there we go we should be good right here this one you want to make sure that you don't get pushed out because this is going back and forth in this area that you allow to come in it doesn't really have that much room so especially in multiplayer it sucks coins are going to be hitting on this side and that's kind of it right here you could jump up you're going to see this little red ring right here that's going to drop eight red coins which is going to give you a power up the power up is going to give you automatically is the fire flower now you are going to need the fire flower for the next section and i'm going to show you guys why up here but we're going to grab another star in here inside of this purple cube and it's going to be on the, the left side all the way in the corner just want to jump and grab it before the timer runs out don't play no games when you're in that circle because the timer runs out you basically got to start the whole level over in order to get it to respawn again and then up here there's a wizard okay okay wizard um definitely want the fire flower best way to kind of check take them out and as you can see there's more question mark blocks down here so let me collect all of these let's get them to spawn here and then bow there we go fire flower is definitely the easiest way to you know knock them out and again they do give you multiple opportunities to get the fire flower. they give you it in that throughout the level there is multiple ways to get the fire flower again the red coins is the easiest way right there and then and they also give it to you inside of the cube if you hit the question mark inside of the cube they do give you a fire flower in there and then that's pretty much it we got all three green stars the sticker is going to be at the very end by the flagpole so again you want to do this little puzzle right here turn all of these guys yellow and it's going to drop this don't be afraid that you're not going to be able to reach this because you can easily just wall hop and then get it right here and again to turn the flagpole gold you do have to touch the top since i don't have a cat mario suit you could grab it with this just by jump in to the pole with the long jump and you should be good to go and again this is how you complete this level a hundred percent getting all three stars and the sticker on the level again it's very <laughs> missable stars and again hard to do if you are playing multiplayer however if you're playing this single player it should be a walk in the park very easy level to me let me know in the comment section below if you're having any troubles with this level in particular 
let's talk about it in the comments if you know around here i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're looking for more guides on mario's 3d world you have come to the right place i'm doing guides for all of the stages as well as other tips and hit videos right here on the channel so again if you are digging the vibes consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend this so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'll see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one